I love impossible levels. Let me just put that out straight. I've always been interested in just pushing boundaries, you know. I have played a lot of impossible levels in Geometry Dash. In fact, I've actually verified a level that was deemed impossible many years ago, which is a coupon help. And so, I don't know, I, I just fancy the whole thing about levels being impossible that, you know, it's kind of exciting because one day they might be possible and all that. It, it's just really cool to see. And so today I thought I would share with you guys an impossible level that I recently found, which is absolutely stunning. Like, usually when you think about impossible levels, you think about stuff like Tartarus, right? Not that Tartarus necessarily is like a low effort level, but usually all of these impossible levels have a little bit less um, quality than some of the proper verified levels has today, right? This level is an exception though. This level is stunning, looks amazing. I'm going to show you guys why this is pretty much my favorite impossible level at the moment. So the level is Natural Disaster by Gamma Rex. So just judging by the first couple of frames in the video here, you can see that this is a creator that knows what he's doing, right? This is some proper decoration. The level looks insane. I'm not gonna show you the entire video because I'm going to play the level myself or at least try my best to play it. It is in fact, after all, an impossible level so I won't be able to do an awful lot of runs on it. So we're gonna do this FNM style. I'm gonna enable my bots, jump in GD and then we're gonna play this level. So the level starts off right here with a couple of timings. First of all, I am a big fan of the decoration in this level. Green just looks amazing and this is pretty detailed as well. This beginning right here is probably one of the easier parts in this level. You have this little pre-drop right here which is in difficulty could be compared to like some of the main list demons that we have today. The crazy part in this level comes later in the drop, that's where things start to kick up. The level is pretty heavily wave based, and by pretty heavily I mean it's just a wave hell. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the wave in a moment, I'll, I'll show you guys. I wanna see if I can beat this entire ship, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and do this ship here real quick. There we go. So that is the pre-drop, this is where the level gets crazy. I am, however, going to have to play this at slow down speed because there is no way I'm going to be able to beat this. Yeah, the wave is just crazy. So this is what I like to believe the hardest part of the level. In a way, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the golden. Maybe because it's just green, but also perhaps because it's hard. <laughs> I don't know. We do have some variation though here, adding a ship, which is not as impossible as the waves, but it's still pretty damn hard. But yeah, these waves are crazy, you can probably tell, and they are going to look even crazier on full speed. But you know, I have been able to do segments of this wave at regular speed before. I do want to believe that this level is possible. I don't know, I, I have a lot of faith in today's top players. So this is the end of the wave. Difficulty already tones down a little bit at the ending of the wave right here. And then you have this part, which is just really cool. I, I kind of just need to beat this at full speed to show you guys. It is so cool, dude. I love this. You guys need to please just wait until the end of the video where I'll show the full preview of this level. It's it, it just flows so well and it's super cool. I love it. That's the first half of the level. Wave being the absolute hardest part. That one's going to be incredibly tough to pass in normal mode if somebody eventually decides to go for this, which I'm hoping because the level is possible. I, I, I swear, guys, this has to be possible. Now we get to the parts that I have practiced the most. The difficulty tones down quite a bit at this part specifically. I just did that, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I, I really just love this level. Because, I don't know, there's just something about it. I just really like this level. I think it's pretty nice that we do get a little bit of a break here in the middle of the level. Because this part is, like, actually playable for those who are not wave gods. And then we have a cool little dual part coming in right here. This is the last... Okay, <laughs> all right, sure. Um, so this is the last wave of the level. This is the wave that I have been practicing the most. So I am in fact trying to do a run from 65 to 100 here on this level. So I've been practicing this wave a lot. I'm gonna do the rest of this level here in no clip because I happen to know how to do this part. Just to show you guys what the end is like. And this is, this is my favorite part. Partly because it's the only one that I've practiced <laughs> and it's the only wave that I'm actually able to play in this level. But also because the gameplay is just so good. It is really hard for me to describe exactly why that is, but it's just super fun. So I'm gonna show you guys here in no, no clip real quick.
this wave is just amazing. This wave is just so cool, dude. I can't wait until I'm actually passing this wave. I have almost passed it. I'm gonna throw in a clip right now of me doing a run on that. Okay, and so after the wave, we have a little bit of an easier ending. It's not easy though, don't get me wrong on that. You have a couple of timings here. Straight fly, those three clicks in specific are the wave clicks. They are so nice to do. Those three clicks, dude. Oh, it's so good. The, it has a really interesting ending right here. So we're gonna have four dash orbs in a row. The final dash orb is a frame perfect. It's pretty evil, I know, but I think that the ending here is super cool. Yeah, you guys can probably see how tight that is. It is ridiculous, <laughs> but it's incredibly satisfying to pass. Just like that. It is stupid hard, but oh my goodness, is it satisfying. And the end screen as well. Can't forget about the end screen. The end screen is amazing. <laughs> oh, just look at it. It's so good, dude. And this is an impossible level. They put so much effort into it. That was 83 to 100, by the way. <laughs> it's like, this is so good. I'm absolutely in love with this level. And j just to show you guys, I've put a lot of, I've put a lot of attempt into this level. I've just been playing it for fun for a couple of days and I managed to pour in 14,000 attempts. It is awesome. It's amazing. If you're able to play levels of this difficulty, then please give it a try because it is so much fun. Even if you can't do all of these impossible waves, then you could possibly do this part. It's just so satisfying. So I actually want to see if I can do some runs. I have some things in mind. Um, because I have been practicing this level for a bit. Okay, so we're going from 58 to the last wave, dude. Let's go. There we go. You know what? This part might just be easier than the pre-drop. This could potentially be the easiest part on the level. With that out of the way, I'm going to give you guys a full preview of this level. So please enjoy the level in its entirety. The level ID is in the description if you want to play this level yourself. I think it's absolutely worth doing a try. And even if you're not good enough to pass these waves, just doing no clip runs on this is super fun as well. Hopefully, somebody could potentially take this on one day and beat it. I don't think it's impossible. It's going to require an insane amount of effort. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of this level, Natural Disaster by Gamorex. Thank you so much for watching today.